let's get into the future of asymmetrical horror games, all right? We're gonna be talking Halloween, TCM, Killer Clowns, F-13, and really this was an article that was on GameSpot, right? Right, I, and I think it was kind of highlighting TCM in particular. I think it was the good things TCM has done in the genre. Yeah, and so they really touched a lot on like dealing with IPs and like the relationship between the studio movie studios and the licensing issues with the games. And they gave a little like brief history on a lot of it. So we're going to kind of run through some of the history and the interesting parts of this article because it makes you understand it. To be honest, it gives you more respect for these studios because this side of it is there's a lot to it. And it's confusing even when you read it. I liked reading because it, yeah, it gave me some insight into what they have to go through with working with these IPs because we want things and it's confusing why we don't get them. And after reading it, it's like, oh, OK, it's kind of I knew some of it, but a lot of it I didn't really realize how difficult it can be. Yeah, and they also talk a lot about like the future and it's a very positive outlook on ASIM gaming, ASIM horror gaming, right? I think I think there's a huge future in it because I just think the demand's there. Well, dude, and also I do think this has revitalized like movies. I mean, I I I would love to see the numbers on TCM, like on how much how many more downloads or bought, uh, people bought the movie after this game. Well, we do movie reviews and the TCM movie reviews people loved them. Yeah. Like people want to see more TCM stuff content, whether that's gaming or movies now. Yeah. 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 And that just wouldn't have happened without the game. I nah. mean, it was an old, it's an older movie. Okay. We're going to start off with a little history on some of the games. Obviously the heavy hitter DVD came out on in 2016. And let me just say this. You realize that how long ago they came out. I mean, it should put it in perspective TCM. I mean, if they do things right, this game could last for a long time and it, this could be just the beginning it could like really grow and grow and grow into something really special it is special right but even more special the problem is dbd has a ton of these uh killers that they've gotten from different movies and i guess they've gotten the rights to stuff and it's easy to stick them in that game mode as well tcm's dealing with one franchise you well, know what i mean well and i'll say this i kind of down we can talk about it real quick right now they talked about how DVD's model is a lot different. You could take any killer and you throw them into your game and they're just that killer in that game. Whereas with TCM or these other games, Killer Clowns, you're building the game off that IP. So it's like you have to build out that whole thing around the IP. It's harder to do, obviously. Well, yeah, it's, you're talking about the whole aesthetics of the game, yeah. the way you play the game, mechanics of the game. And the cinematic style of the game. It all has to fit around that IP. Whereas DVD, it's like, who cares? Just take a killer, throw them in, have them play the game. Yeah, they just nailed the gameplay that people really enjoy. Yeah. And now it's just adding in these extra killers. And then really, it's all their abilities and stuff that's focused on that specific killer. Yep. So anyways, DVD is still alive and well, doing great. F-13 was a huge one. That came out in 2017, so just a year after DVD, and that's what most of us all got into. Dude, if F-13 wouldn't have got hit with that court issue, I, I think that game still would. I think that'd be huge right now. Yeah, so the whole thing, if you don't know, they lost the rights to it, and it killed the whole game. Yeah, it sucks. There was, like, yeah. lawsuits and stuff involved. It'll always be right here. It's my heart, wherever Dude, that's you, located. It, it's <laughs> frustrating because it's, like, such a freaking great game and such a great idea. They really did a great job with that. But it's gone, and hopefully maybe one day it'll come back. These stupid studios, maybe. Uh, no offense, knows. I shouldn't call you studio. I don't really know what's going on there. Well, it seems like it's a, yeah the IP thing. Yeah. Then Predator Hunting Grounds. We were we were on this pretty early in 2020, and this is still live, and they're updating it. It's getting better. It's still not quite at the level of like a TCM, obviously not a DVD, but it's a fun game. And shoot, it has potential. We all love Predator. Again, you start with a great IP that people love. People will play the game, even if it's not that good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but... It, even off this list, and this is going to continue through it. Each one of these games that came out, it like revitalized these movies. Like it got me every one of these movies. I mean, I've seen most of them, but some of them like Evil Dead. I wasn't a huge Evil Dead guy. I've watched all those movies now. Oh, since but you never well, except for one. But but you never even played the. I game. I didn't even play the game, but <laughs> just because I'd heard about it, like and people oh, playing see. it, it got me into watching the movies. I watched some people play it. Oh yeah, it's a if you're a movie studio or you hold IP, you would think you'd want them to make a game about it because it's only going to drive more interest into that franchise. Yeah. Well, Evil Dead came out in 2022, but that game died and I looked into the history like cuz it wasn't like an IP thing. It sounds like the parent company to the studio kind of like 
cut some stuff back and basically took their uh, resources kind of away from the game and shifted it in another direction. Oh, they just didn't want to put the work into it. That's what it, that's what I got from my research. All right, could be wrong. Uh, TCM came out in 2023, August of 23. That's so it's so new. It's only a year old. That's crazy, guys. Just think about. It. I know we all have our issues. We all have our expectations, and it didn't play out exactly how we wanted it to yet. But it's alive and well. It's. I feel like it's doing really good. Dude, I that's just want so more. funny. A year. I thought, dude. Honestly, in my brain, it was like two years. It, it, the only thing with it is like I'm just nervous. I'm like, okay, guys, we're still all on board with TCM. We're going to keep developing it for the next developing it for the next few years, right? We all see the same vision, right? That's right. The, yeah, we'll talk. <laughs> we'll talk about that. Uh, Killer Clowns came out in June of 24. So and that's our actually, newest one. And the funny thing is, it actually died on June t- the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> came out the fourth, died on the fifth. <laughs> Killer Clowns has had a rough go. The problem with Killer Clowns. They nailed cosmetics, they nailed looks, all that stuff, beautiful maps, uh, or they look cool. Ambiance is great, gameplay is poor. I mean, that's all there is to it. You know, I even watched, they rec- they're they still developing for it. I'm, I'm kidding about it being dead. It's I, I don't think that it has a huge player base, but they're still putting work into it. Like, they just dropped a new map, I think, or it's coming out soon. But the problem is, even when I'm watching, like, the developers play it, there's something boring about it. I don't, I can't even put, like... My finger on like one thing. It's just the overall experience just kind of isn't there. For it's me. rush week. It's rush week. Just not 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 a lot of stakes. Not enough depth. Yeah. Okay. So the article then goes in. They talk a lot about like we said the IPs, but I just want to make a point. Like movie studios are starting to understand this genre is good for them, their brand, right? And it seems like they uh, made a point to say like initially when these were starting. The the studios looked at it as a way to promote like a movie coming up. Yeah. Oh. No, I mean I agree. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. So and now they're trying to shift because really that's not what it's about. Like these, yeah, you probably could get some initial attention if you did happen to drop a game, but they were looking at I think initially like mobile games and stuff like that, quick hitters to just get attention then with a new movie. But now, like, as we see with, like, uh, TCM with Killer Clowns, you make a game that this dedicated, because there is a dedicated fan base that loved this stuff, right? I mean, we're a part of it. Right. You get, like, we have now watched every single TCM movie. We've done reviews on them. Like, all this stuff that it revitalizes the entire franchise just by have this game that people like to play. No, I completely agree. TCM especially, like, I wasn't even that into it. I was kind of aware of it. But once we started playing the game, like you said, we watched all this stuff. And I'll tell you right now, a new movie comes out. Guess what? We're going to watch it, and we're going to do a review on it. And I guarantee that review would do really good because everyone else wants to watch it and hear about it as well. Yeah. It's like a perfect – it's the perfect fit, honestly. If if you have a horror movie, I'd try to get – and I think they are. I think the studios now are trying to get people to make games on it because it's a win-win. I mean, horror movies are fit for this. like. They're just made, I mean, they are, I mean, obviously it's usually a bunch of victims and a killer. And we, as we've seen, typically the one killer and victims seems to be easier to deal with. You know what I mean? But everybody wants to play a game where you're trying to survive this iconic, you know, nightmare of a creature. Or what? everyone wants to play a game where you're playing the killer. You want to play as Michael Myers, right? <laughs> Is that the name right? You usually say Mike Myers, yeah, so yeah. good save. <laughs> Yeah, I but mean, no, you want to play and you want to like, that's what, oh my God, that is what F13 nailed. You wanted to play in that camp. You wanted to be there and you could play as a victim and you felt like nervous. You felt like, you know, a fraction of what it might feel like to be in that environment as Jason's hunting you down and you see your friends get chopped in half or something. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, to sum it up, I wanted to read because this is like the, the future part of it because they talked about like what uh, they talked about Halloween and kind of who was making it or some, they kind of teased of like maybe one of these studios is working on it already and we don't know, but they also talked about, they talked to each one of the developers of like, I think they talked to Ilphonic, they talked to gun studio media, you know? Yeah. So uh, I'm just going to read some of this part. So Kellner named several that have been stirring in my mind for a while too. So they're talking about horror IPs that they, they want to make in the game. So Wes Kellner, Gun Media, he uh, it's media, right? Or is it studio? Or interactive, I think, or Gun, something. I don't know, yeah. whatever. So anyways, he's TCM, Gun. So Wes said there's a couple that he's already been thinking about, such as Nightmare on Elm Street, perfect. Uh, okay, I gotta stop right there. 
I mean, Nightmare on Elm Street is perfect fit, a perfect fit for an ASIM game because the problem with this, so my problem with TCM is you're constrained into like, because TCM is kind of built in the real world, you know, it, it is. That's what the movie's kind of about, this weird family, whatever. Nightmare on Elm Street, I mean, Freddy can do anything. So imagine like the special powers you could have as a Freddy killer. Teleporting. Extend your arms out long. <laughs> you could do it. Yeah, you could do almost anything. You could change the environment. Yeah. Flip it to a different world. I don't know. Dude, yeah, because that could really be very similar to Friday the 13th in that, like, Jason had these different powers you could use, these warping. So you could do the same thing with with Freddy. Well, I would say, like, times 10. You could do anything you want. Like, because you're, you know, anytime you get the IP, you're constrained within the IP. You can't go really out of what they would want you to do. It has to fit in the world. But Freddy's world is, like, wide open. Yeah. Yeah, I think that would be a great one. Uh, he also mentioned the thing. I have a soft spot. Uh, for Return of the Living Dead, just because it's a very different, very punk, very nihilistic approach to making zombie stuff. And it felt like it carved right through pop culture to where now people say brains. And that didn't exist before the movie. He also named one more, too, presumably knowing it's spoken for Halloween. A West named Halloween? Yeah. Oh. Which, well, I mean, again, a ready made one. I, I mean, mean, I feel like, especially with TCM, you could almost throw Mike. Myers, Michael, Michael. Myers, <laughs> you almost throw him into TCM as a killer. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you could. I like, mean, he, like with Johnny's abilities. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's just not fast. He's going to, he's going to take it real slow. That's the only problem. Honestly, with a, a, a Halloween with Michael Myers and I don't want to say the name again <laughs> <laughs> with him in the game. Yeah. Whatever. His abilities would be kind of weird. How would that would work with him walking so slow, but you probably teleport. Yeah. There's ways to get around it. Uh, oh, oh.